Hey guys, John V again here from Phone Arena. Right now I have the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket, the upcoming 4G LT smartphone for AT&T. Now, of course, we know that AT&T currently has the Samsung Galaxy S2. Now, that device is, has a 4.3-inch display. This one has a larger 4.5 one. But the difference, too, is that um, this one features a Qualcomm processor as opposed to the Exynos processor from before. It's actually the same thing powering the HTC Vivid, which is a dual-core 1.2 GHz Qualcomm Snapdragon S3 processor. And I believe also 1 GB of RAM. And the performance here right out of the box, which is going to run a couple of different benchmark tests, but it is very snappy, but of course after checking out the uh, Galaxy S2 the uh, on AT&T with the Exynos processor, it doesn't have that quite fluid movement. It's still responsive, but we just notice a little bit of a, you know, just a slight pause or delay. It's very subtle. You don't notice it too much unless you have both devices uh, 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 right next to one another. So with a static wallpaper, you can tell very quick and responsive with its, with its tracking of our finger. If we test it out more with something like a wall live wallpaper, something a little bit more, a little bit more animated here, graphically intensive. So even with that, you can see the animation in the background still exhibits a, a smooth response. So it's very nice indeed. So it doesn't really stutter. And it's still a respectable high-end smartphone, even though it, it has a different processor versus before. So let's uh, put back to a static wallpaper here, and we'll just get started with the uh, first benchmark test. We have already ran the Quadrant test, and amazingly it gets, uh, at the best we've seen, 3300. We're just going to show you that really quick here. So when we ran it previously, we managed to get 3360 now, which is definitely an impressive uh, result here. So let's run, run the test uh, just one more time, see if we get the same consistent score. And with these graphical tests, very smooth, responsive, like this one here, 60 frames per second. Uh, you could definitely tell a difference as everything just moves at this buttery, smooth rate. As far as just overall operation, again, as we said, really nice, smooth, responsive. And you could base the scores on benchmark results, but of ultimately, it's, it's going to come down to just actual real-world performance. This graphical test, 60 frames per second. This one here, roughly around 40 frames per second on the average. And it's finishing up here with this test. And this time around, we're getting a score of 3636. So very impressive, well over 3500. So really good benchmark test. And of course, um, it also shows with its uh, operation. The other test that we ran here already is the Antutu benchmark test, of course. I'm just going to show you the results that we got in the different categories. You could tell all of it right there. Overall score is 5752. And when we look at that score chart, you could tell um, it's pretty much up there on par to the Galaxy, the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S2, the Galaxy Nexus 2 even. You know, it's just a little bit behind it. It's uh, definitely uh, one of the, one of the uh, better, better devices in producing really nice uh, benchmark tests. So very respectable in that aspect. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to learn more about the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for AT&T, check out our website, phonerena.com.